What's up, guys? Justin Kapp from Pro here, your startup business mentor and branding strategist. Yeah, I have a great topic for you today. We're going to be talking about how to stream pre recorded video live on multiple social media networks simultaneously. This is an absolute game changer for those guys that are content creators and live broadcasters. I myself have been live broadcasting for uh, four and a half years, almost every single day for that time frame. And I know as well as you do that not only creating content on a daily basis and keeping up with that content is tiring, but doing live broadcasting on a daily basis uh, can really, really wear on you. So sometimes it'd be nice just to have a break to be able to record a video, drop it into a network, and allow that thing to stream your live out while you are doing whatever else it is that you need to be doing. So I'm gonna hook you up with that today, guys. This is gonna be simple, easy, quick, straight to the point content today. I'm gonna give you all the stuff and leave nothing out. And be sure to hang out to the end of the broadcast because I'm gonna give you a hot, hot, hot pro tip of mine that will absolutely save you headaches and struggles when you are working with pre-recorded video. I'm gonna share, I'm gonna solve that problem for you and hook you up with a quick tip at the end so make sure you stay to the end guys give me a like and subscribe if you're going to enjoy this content you want to follow my channel and i'll see you in a second hang tight All right, guys, we're going to dive right into this. So first of all, I want to talk about why I would want to do this and a couple different ways I could leverage it. So again, I started streaming four and a half years ago. And about two years ago, I started figuring out how I could stream pre-recorded videos onto networks for different reasons. So at the time, what I was using it for was really to run a bit of commercials. So whenever I had promotions or book sales or anything that I wanted to market or leverage in my business, what I would do is I would create like a 30 second or a 60 second promo reel or commercial type video and I would use the technology that I'm going to show you today to stream that to like Facebook or Periscope and get that out there and allow those to be on a loop and run as a continuous commercial and I would do it on evenings and the weekends when I wasn't like open office hours and wasn't actually on and working my business when I would shut my business down I'd throw up a commercial and let my commercial run and attract business and I would do it to attract leads to my challenges or to my programs or to my opt-ins to my email list to free downloads and I would just kind of run my own commercials. And that's absolutely a way that you can do that. It's kind of a cool way to attract business when you're not actually working, just letting your video content get out there and work for you. But uh, most recently, just the, it was actually just three months ago. Again, I've been live broadcasting every single day for four and a half years. So I have a commitment to a time frame. I broadcast every morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I have a commitment to an audience to be there and to show up with that content every single day. Well, three months ago, I had a really heavy workload, had a lot of stuff going on, and I was coming into a week that really needed my attention and my focus and but I still didn't want to sacrifice my content because I felt like I needed to be there so what I did is I decided I was going to pre-record all of my video content for the week and I was going to leverage the technology that I'm gonna share with you today to stream my pre-recorded videos live and just see how my audience would respond to it I'm a very engaging live broadcaster so when people join me live I'm very interactive and I really wasn't sure about and if I pre-record these videos, I, it's not going to be the interaction that they're used to. And I wonder how my audience will take to it. But let me try it for a week and let me see what happens. So I pre-recorded five videos for my five days that week. And I set them up to stream out live at the exact same time that I would go live just to see how it would work. And what I did in that week when that was over is every day I would go into my own live broadcast and turn it on and watch my audience reaction in watching me. And at the end of the week, there was not a single one of my audience members that knew that I was not live. And I could not believe it. Game changer, absolute game changer for me. And I actually checked in with a few of my loyal clients that I knew would give me an honest opinion. And I said, how did you feel about my content this week? And they said, oh, it was so good, man, I loved it. I said, did you have any idea that I wasn't live? And they're like, oh yeah, you were live? Heck yeah, you were live. I was there, I watched you every single day. I said, those were all pre-recorded videos. Not single one of those videos was I live. And the only response I got was, Teach me how. <laughs> Teach me how you did that because I had no idea that you weren't live. So this is an absolute game changer, guys. I'm excited to share this with you and we're going to dive right straight into this. So the first thing I want to share with you is a it's a technology called OBS 
technology, which is how I create and how I produce high quality professional video content. So some of you guys may be familiar with OBS. I'm not going to dive into a huge OBS tutorial today because I have another video that I'd love for you to check out right up here. It's called how to stream like a pro. And that takes you through an entire walkthrough on how you can set yourself up with OBS broadcast technology, how to use it, what the settings need to be, how you build scenes and all the things. So I'm not going to go into that today because I know what you guys really want is just how to figure out how to stream uh, to multiple networks with a pre-recorded video. So that's what I'm going to dig into it. But I do just want to show you real quick, just a brief inside look of what OBS looks like so you can understand how you can, because you can use OBS as well to pre-stream. Uh, it's just a little bit different than the other technology I'm going to show you. So let me show you OBS project real quick. All right, guys. So if you don't currently have OBS technology, you can simply go to the website OBS project dot com that'll take you to this download screen and click on windows or mac or whatever kind of computer you have and do this easy quick download and then let me show you what this looks like from the inside all right guys so this is what it looks like from the inside of my obs uh production screen this is how i produce all of my live videos with all the layers and the graphics and the logos and all the things again i'm not going to go into a deep dive about obs but i do want to show you real quickly how you can stream a pre-recorded video using obs and get it out to where you want to get it out to all right so uh real simply once you get in here you get connected to your webcam and all the things if i want to add a video i'm just going to go right into sources I'm going to hit on this little plus sign right here and I'm going to select media source. And once I do that, it's going to pop open a, um, a local file location that I want to browse and see what I got here to look at. I'm going to go to my desktop real quick and just grab one of these videos just to test and throw in here. And I want to turn that off so you're not hearing the audio for it. And then if I'm just blowing this thing up, and fill in my screen. Now I have a pre-recorded video that looks just like I'm talking to you right now, and I could simply hit start streaming, and I could send this video out to whatever platforms I want to send it out to. And then all I have to do here at this point is just hit start streaming. It would connect to Restream, and it would send this particular video that's playing right now out to those multiple networks. So again, a great option if you are, um, a great option if you're looking to figure out how you could create like a, like a sizzle reel or a promotion or a commercial or even just some great content that you just want to have and run out to a loop, you could run it through here, stream it, and send it out. So the only real disadvantage to using OBS technology is that for you to stream a pre-recorded video live, you actually have to be sitting in front of your computer to do so. Once you get that video uploaded, you still have to press start streaming. And then when you're done streaming your video, you have to hit stop streaming. It's not something that you can set and walk away from. So that's the only disadvantage using OBS. It does work when I told you two years ago, I was streaming pre-recorded promos and things to my channels. I would, you know, if it was five o'clock in the evening and I was done working for the day, I would drop my 60 second commercial in here, hook it up to OBS or hook it up to Facebook, click start streaming and then leave. And I would let that thing run for a few hours just on a loop and just keep playing. But then like before I wanted to go to bed, I'd have to come down to my computer and hit stop streaming. So it would stop because if I didn't stop it, it would just keep on playing forever. So that's a little disadvantage with that, but it is free technology and it does work. Now, let me dive into your second option, which is Restream technology. Restream is a technology that I can use OBS to publish and produce my broadcast. And then when I hit start streaming, my stream gets sent to Restream. And what Restream does is Restream plugs into all the channels that I upload and it sends my singular stream out to multiple networks. So I am live at the same time on multiple networks. So every single day when I broadcast live, I build my live broadcast right here in OBS. I hit start streaming and I simply broadcast right here looking at my OBS screen. And my stream is going out to Facebook personal, Facebook business, Periscope, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. So I'm live on I think five or six networks at the same time. So Restream is really cool and I used to I used it to stream to multiple networks, but also Restream is the same technology that I use to upload pre-recorded videos and stream those live out to my same multiple network. So let me take you into a look into my back office and show you what this looks like. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like inside of my Restream back office. So just I'm just gonna show you a few quick things here before I show you how to upload the pre-recorded video. This is what I'm looking at if I was actually going to stream using Restream. So again, I have a full tutorial on how to go live like a pro. That, that video is being referenced right up at the top of the screen there, and it's also linked in the description where you can learn how to use Restream technology with OBS and stream to multiple networks. But just real quick, a couple of key things we do need to do to prepare to upload that pre recorded video is you need to set up your channels. All right. So when you come in here, even on the free plan, you do have some options to either do the free plan 
or the upgraded plan. But from the free plan, you can just simply come up here and add a channel. And all of these channels right here, you can stream to for free. So you can go to a live, or I'm sorry, you can go to a personal profile. You can go to YouTube. You can go to Periscope Twitter. You can go to LinkedIn. You can go to all these different networks. These are all free. And you can up, you can stream to all of these for free. The only ones that are going to force you to upgrade to a paid version of this plan is if you want to go to a Facebook business page or Facebook groups or any of these other channels that you may want to go to. But I am on the upgraded plan simply because I like broadcasting to my Facebook business page and I do like uh, broadcasting to my Facebook groups as well. So you can see the channels that I have here. I have Periscope, which also goes to Twitter simultaneously. I have my Facebook personal page, business page, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So when I go live, Live streaming I'm streaming to six networks which includes Twitter and that's where all my broadcasts go while I'm live so it's important to get your channel set up first of all and to do that you simply add a channel you click on whatever profile you want to go to and then it'll connect you have you do that so as far as the paid plans go this is what they look like so for you to do a standard plan this is what I pay for I pay $19 a month it's nothing nothing crazy and that just gives me that one extra destination which is my Facebook business page if you want to do multiple extra destinations destinations and do different things especially using like the, the the pro studio and things then you can upgrade to $50 a month but honestly I've been using restream for a while now I work $19 a month and I do a lot with live streaming and that one is plenty you can also switch to yearly if you want to pay yearly that's easy to do as well but that's just a couple a couple of things to uh, to look at with the payment option so just a real quick look again back here at my main office screen so if I decide that I wanted to go live right now I got all my channels plugged in I've got them all toggled on so as soon as I press start streaming in OBS this restream knows that I want to go live to all of these channels and then the only other thing that I would have to do in here is I would want to update my titles so your titles is basically whatever title will be published to each stream on each channel so if I wanted if I simply wanted to say hey, how to be awesome on a Saturday because today is a Saturday uh, how to be awesome on a Saturday update all that will update all of my titles down here so that every broadcast will post the same title so that's the only other thing I would need to do here and then I'm simply ready to go live now if you want to do pre-recorded and upload that to stream live that's where we're going to want to click down on this little scheduler button here and we're going to go into the scheduler all right now before i show you how to upload videos and schedule an event and do all the things in here i first want to talk to you about the paid version of this as well so again with this i am paying 19 dollars a month this is a separate 19 dollars a month from the live stream version so i pay restream 19 dollars a month twice all right there is a free version of this which i'll explain to you in just a second but i do the paid version here simply because the paid version gives me a longer streaming limit if i'm on the free version your video limit is 30 minutes if i'm on the paid version my videos can be up to 60 minutes uh, i still have access to the platforms on the free version i i believe i only get two file video storage as well so if i'm all if i'm not paying for that upgraded month i can only upload two videos at a time which honestly really isn't a deal break but if you wanted to be able to upload a whole bunch of files and schedule those out you know having that that availability is kind of nice and then also on the on the small version uh the two gig file limit is a little bit more than the free version so it's just it just gives you a little bit more options so i pay for that but you can still operate off the free plan if you want to be able to do so that's just a couple things to know about those plans all right so what you're going to do whether you're on the free plan or the paid plan all you need to do is come into the schedule and the first thing you want to do is upload a video so if you go into videos this is going to show you your video storage area so if i want to upload a video i simply just up i just simply click upload video go to my desktop wherever i want to grab that video from and i could throw one of these in here and throw that in here so that's going to take a second to uh to upload it so the upload is complete now i've got a video in here that i can work with and if you hover over it it'll show a brief little thumbnail of that video all right so now that i've got that set up i want to go back and click on events and I'm going to do schedule an event. And once I do that, this little pop-up will come up. And again, it's going to remind you that all your files need to be less than two gig if you're on that plan. And this is where I would type in my title. How, let's just stick with the same title, how to be awesome on a Saturday because we're all looking to be more awesome in our content and in our marketing, right? How to be awesome on a Saturday. And then I've got only got one video in my video loop, so I only have one to choose from, right? But if I had multiple videos in here, this is where I would choose my drop down, and I would choose whatever video that I wanted to choose. Let's pick a date and time. So I could set this till, I could do this on Monday. 
at eight o'clock if I wanted to. Or I could go out to say, maybe I'm creating a video for like Black Friday and I wanna go into November and I wanna go to Black Friday and set this thing to roll at 6 a.m. on Black Friday morning. I could do that too, literally. It's very, very easy. There are some settings in the advance where you can go in here and you can turn on and turn off certain channels. So maybe if I do wanna go to Facebook, but I don't wanna go to Periscope and I don't wanna go to LinkedIn, but I do wanna go to YouTube, I can do that. Um, the repeats is I can actually set this up to repeat. So if I wanted to loop this video like three or four times and let it play for a while, I could do that as well. I could do the intervals. Uh, I could change the time zone if I wanted to change the time zone. Those are just a few advanced settings. But then once I'm done, I literally scheduled the event and that is it. So I just scheduled this funny video to say how to be awesome on a Saturday to broadcast live on Black Friday. And it's only gonna go to three those three networks. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna leave that alone. I'm, obviously, I'll go back in there and I'll delete that, but it's really that easy, y'all. So I'm super excited to share that with you because once I figured this out, once I started teaching my clients how to do this, absolute game changer. Now, as I'm putting a lot of focus on my YouTube content, I can create great content ahead of time that's pre-formatted for my uh, for my YouTube channel, and then I can just simply take those great videos and stream those out to my live networks when I wanna stream those out too. So that's how you schedule a pre-recorded video live. Now I told you I was gonna give you one last tip, and that one last tip is a program I wanna share with you called Handbrake. So Handbrake is also a free technology. If you wanna check this out, go to handbrake.fr. It's an open source video encoder, but really what that means is that you can take a video and you can compress the size of it down to make it a smaller file and much more easier to manage. This is an absolute game changer for those guys doing video content because if you've ever dealt with this before, it's very, very common to create a great video and then all of a sudden you're dealing with a huge file that can be a challenge with uploading in certain places or using in certain places like with Restream. So with Restream, because your videos are limited to a, a two gig file limit, you might go through and create a great 20 or 25 minute video and you get all done and that video file is 2.2 gig and it's just a little bit too big for you to be able to use it and you're like what do i do now how do i have to crop the video down do i have to re-record it no you simply just take the video upload it into handbrake change a couple of features compress that thing down and it'll spit out a new file that's compre compressed below two gig and you can still upload that same content that you had already created so it, once you download this this uh, program this is what it looks like real quick all right, so this is the inside of Handbrake. It's very, very simple. If I wanna compress a video, I simply open a single video file. Let me go to my desktop here and I'll just grab one that I can use. So let me go into here. This is one I was working on yesterday and see how big this file is. So you see, this is 2.7 gigs. So I'm gonna click on this file. So if I wanted to use this particular video in Restream, it would be a little bit too big. So what I wanna look at real quick is I wanna go to the dimensions because the dimensions are what's gonna compress this size. So I wanna simply, I'm just gonna change this down to a 960 by 540. And then, so all I'm doing, I'm changing the dimensions there. Then I'm going into my summary and I'm going to click on web optimized and that's going to help me compress this down to a smaller file size Once you do that very simple I just click on starting in code and this does take a few minutes. This is not something that's gonna go um in like 20 or 30 seconds, it's gonna take a few minutes. Like I think it shows me down here at the bottom, I've got around eight minutes remaining. So I'm gonna speed this up and show us to you what it looks like. All right guys, so that compression is done. You can see this file that we started with was 2.71 gigs. And the file that it spit out when it's done is now 1.6 gigs. So uh, just kind of a cool way to uh to compress those videos a very handy handy tool so if you're ever dealing with some video content that's a little bit too big too big of a file handbrake is a great way to compress those things down obviously you want to make some adjustments with the settings to get your settings just right but that's a very quick easy program that you can use to do so all right guys hopefully that was helpful for you again i would love for you to give me a like and a subscribe drop me a comment down below if you enjoyed the content i've got links in my description for all the resources that i share with you love for you to check out restream love for you to check out handbrake download OBS if you want to learn how to uh, do some more streaming with OBS and again I got a link in the description as well for how to live stream like a pro where I do a full OBS tutorial for you all right have a blessed day guys thank you for your time and attention I'll see you around the web all right take care I'll see you later